our picks for Sunday's free Super 6 contest. Terry Bradshaw putting up a million dollars again this week. One of the matchups, this again. one right here, Steelers-Ravens. Nick, give me a winner, and by how many? Oh, this is the game of the weekend. I'm, I'm going to go Ravens by three in a brutal game for both teams. Old Ooh. school AFC North matchup, but I think the Ravens eke them out by three. Oh, just flop that. I'm going to go Steelers by three, Nick. And then we got a lot of money oh. on the line. Three people last week missed out on a million dollars. Let's see if someone can win it. One game away. If you listen to me, you will have a chance. Steelers by three. <laughs> okay, I, I, I'm, I'm torn here, Jenna, because I want to support Brandon and his hometown favorite Steelers, but you know, Nick Wright is America's favorite prognosticator, so I'm going to go with, I'm going to agree with it's Nick true. and say Ravens by three. Oh, wow. Yeah, but not in football. Oh, in football, man. I've been hot, too, Where though. I've been hot in football. Yes. Seattle make, Seahawks. Uh, make sure you get your picks in for free before <laughs> kickoff on Sunday. For your chance to win a million dollars, if you want more information, you can head to the Fox Sports app, however you decide to bet this weekend. All right. Time now for a little four things first. And, Brandon, we're going to start oh. with you. You love Ooh. Kyle Kuzma talking titles on Twitter. Title Town. This could be an amazing story. We all want to see this. You know what? And let's delay all the parades and let's do it all at once. I think all of California will gather and it could be amazing. So you have the Los Angeles Lakers. They go to the bubble. It's a restart. They do a phenomenal job. Jimmy Butler almost took it from them. And then you have uh, the L.A. Dodgers after 32 years getting it done. And then he goes on and he goes in on Twitter and says, oh. you know what? You know what to do, the Rams. Well, what about the Chargers? Cal Kuzma, come on, give this guy some love. <laughs> give this team some love, the man. Chargers. Golly. The Chargers. Yeah, the Chargers. What happened to them? Hey, uh, Rich Paul tweeted out that Anthony Edwards is going to have his pro day, which I like, uh, and it's going to be televised. I like it. I like uh, sort of taking a page from the NFL draft. Here's the problem. NBA pro days, pretty boring. Got a guy like me running around in a pair of New Balance <laughs> running shoes. Sorry, Kawhi. And running uh, three cone drills. It's not exciting. So I'd like to change it with King of the Court. You take five retired player or kind of retired players and make Anthony Edwards play King of the Court. Here's the, here's the gauntlet they have to go through. Shot. First up, Diesel Mike Bibby. Second, White Chocolate, Jason Williams. Then you got to play Jamal Crawford. Then you got to play our guy, Steven Jackson. And then the final boss, Kevin Garnett. And I think you learned <laughs> you everything you need to know about how good Anthony Edwards is. All right, listen here, America. We're down to only football to gamble on. Baseball, we gave you six straight winners in the World Series and the MVP to boot. But now that we only have football to gamble on, we got to do a little more exotics. So I'm going to teach you very quickly about teasers right here, and it applies to tonight's game. Teaser, you can add or subtract six points to a line, but you have to pair it with another game. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take the Falcons plus two. We're going to tease them up to plus eight. No Christian McCaffrey for the Panthers. We're going to pair that on Sunday with the Packers. They're minus seven. We're going to tease them down to minus one. So your teaser of the week is the Falcons tonight plus eight, and then the Packers minus one. Win some money, America. I like that. I literally oh still goodness. don't understand What's going on? part of that. Hey, guys, yeah, in yeah. Uh, 2017, <laughs> the Jets were chugging along. Josh McCown was their quarterback. They were 5-11. and 11. They're always 5-11. and 11. Draft is coming up, and we learned yesterday, <laughs> guess who they brought in? A guy by the name of Patrick Mahomes. They brought him in. They interviewed him. They liked him. They let him go. And guess what? With the sixth overall pick in the 2017 draft, the New York Jets selected... Jamal Adams. Well, let's fast forward to today. Jets are 0-7. Their quarterback looks lost, and Jamal Adams no longer plays for the Jets. So all's terrible that ends terribly with the New York <laughs> Jets. Uh, time now Stop for a little drawing a blank Jenna? as we quickly move. Hey, uh, that's it. It's two days. I only get two days pick of picking on, on them. Tomorrow we'll pick on someone else. How about Baker? It's an easy target. Baker and the Browns getting set to host the Raiders Sunday on Fox. First game for the Browns without OBJ, who's out for the Ooh. year with the torn ACL. All right, Brandon, Baker's first game without Odell will be blank. Intriguing, Jenna. Um, it's not because Odell isn't a great talent and he can't go in and make plays for this team. It's they didn't know how to use him. 
And I truly believe it takes pressure off of the play caller. It takes pressure off of Baker Mayfield. So I want to see who this Baker Mayfield guy is. Take out Odell. Now let's see if you can get it done going through your offense. Yeah. Yeah, the answer is it will be haterific because much like Dave Chappelle's great player haters ball, no matter what happens, there will be folks on this very show finding a way to hate on people. So if the Browns play great without Don't Odell, Jenna Wolf will come no in hate. as no. doing her best Silky Johnson impersonation and say, see, they didn't need Odell all along. And if the Browns play poorly and lose, Brandon Marshall will come in with his be best Buck Nasty impersonation and say, see, Baker Mayfield stinks. So win or or lose, the, the Browns <laughs> will find a way to be hated on by the Brandon, very folks I work with every day, Kevin Wilds. That's no, he yeah, painted himself in the corner. Himself. Uh, Hey, remember when LeBron went to Miami and he tried to be like mean LeBron and it just didn't work and later on he was like, yeah, I'm a happy guy. It doesn't really work with me playing the villain. That's where I think Baker's at. I think Baker needs to have fun. So I went DMX worthy and I think he's going to have another fun quote like uh, this one from Sunday. Take a listen. You know, it, it's just the necessary mindset of you know, doing whatever it takes to, to win. You know, it's you know, having to after that first quarter, stop, drop. Shut them down, open up shop. And they're like, oh no, that's just Everett Ryder's role. Take the Raiders. Take the Raiders. Take the Raiders. Take the Raiders. Come on. I'm with you, Brandon. Haters. I love it. Just hate, everything hate, on the Raiders. Hate, everything hate, on hate, the Raiders. Hate. On to Buffalo now. Bill set to host the ice cold Patriots. Sorry, K Man. They've lost three in a row for the first time since 2002, the year Nick was born. But Brandon, a Patriots loss to the Bills <laughs> would be blank. Not surprising. Right now, the Patriots aren't a good team, and they're actually sloppy. You got to look at what they're doing in all three phases of the game. We've never seen a Bill Belichick team play so bad and so sloppy and give terrible effort. So it won't be surprising. And I also still believe in the Buffalo Bills. I think this oh, is yeah, a good team. I was high on them before yeah, the season yeah. started. I still believe they can get it done. Brian Dayball grabs his young quarterback, tells him, listen, young man, just go through your progressions, calm down, relax, <laughs> and go throw it on rhythm. That's what happens. A Patriots loss to the Bills would be flammable. And by flammable, I mean it would precede flammable. a fire sale. If the Patriots lose to the Bills, Stephon Gilmore is being shopped. One of the McCordys is being shopped. I could imagine one of their offensive linemen will be shopped. Now, I don't think they will lose to the Bills. So just like the, just because something's flammable doesn't mean it will light on fire. It just means it can. That's true. So they would be flammable. They, be flammable. If they lose to the Bills, there's going to be a fire sale That's in New England answer. Wilds. I like that. Okay, rainy Thank day you. in Buffalo. So we got to be, I think we're just going to be running the ball. If we lose bad, it's going to be pretty uh, ugly for us. If we win bad, I'm okay with it. Either way, we're fine. We got the Bills again because the Bills have the third toughest schedule in the NFL, if we can take a look at it. We know that Miami's not going to do anything with their rookie quarterback. We know the Jets are the Jets. So this is a tough, tough schedule. We got them again in December. What does that so mean? even if we lose this Jets. game, I think we're okay. I just explained it. <laughs> you know what it means. The Jets. It is you know two means, a time Brandon. in Miami. The rookie set to make his first start. Spent the bye week preparing for a cross country showdown with the Rams Sunday on Fox. So Brandon, I'm sure you remember your first <laughs> career start. Nerves, maybe a little. So Tua's first career start will be blank. Ho 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 ho! Baptism by fire. Listen, Jenna, there's Reggie White and then there's Aaron Donald when you talk about disruptors at mm. the defensive line. This is what you want to do to your young quarterback? Maybe it's a, a great play. Yeah. Uh, Nick, you always talk about this coach being one of your favorite coaches. He's smart. Mm -hmm. He knows what he's doing. I wouldn't have done it because Aaron Donald could make this dude fear the NFL. So I don't like it. Baptism so by fire. Okay. So we're on the same page here, kind of, Brandon. I said this is 1950s-style parenting. So what am I talking about? I asked my grandmother <laughs> once how she taught my mom how to swim. And she said, well, we took her down to Coney Island. They lived in New York. And we threw her in the ocean. 
said you threw her in the ocean. They said, yeah, because then after that, <laughs> everything would seem easy. So you have him start against Aaron Donald, and then it's like, oh, Joey Bosa doesn't scare me. The Cardinals <laughs> don't scare me. Lot, the, nobody About scares you. me. So it's 1950s parenting. Yeah. You start them off on the toughest possible competition, <laughs> and then everything else seems easy, Wilds. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I like that. Um, hey, I, I went with, uh, what did I say here? Something about Jared Goff and his uh, wild, <laughs> no, Katanix, tell me. You said Goff confidence. We need to, okay, Goff confidence. I got you, Katanix. <laughs> Goff confidence. Everybody, it's Goff confidence, according to Katanix. Uh, because it, just sure like you, you said, it. Brandon, the Ram, they're losing their minds. They're talking about having been the third team to win a championship in L.A., uh, you know, it's definitely something that we're conscious of. Like, slow your roll, buddy. Just because the <laughs> Lakers and the Dodgers won has no effect on you. So I think we're, he's a little too confident. So I'm actually pulling for the Dolphins here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's finish up in Kansas City. Our friends at Fox Bet have the Chiefs as huge 19.5-point favorites in this one. That's one of the 10 biggest NFL spreads ever. Also, best team versus worst team. Also, Le'Veon Bell's revenge week. So, Brandon, the Chiefs oh. being favored by almost three touchdowns Forget over the Jets is blank. Disrespectful. This is going to be the first time that I picked the Jets all year. The Jets will cover. J-E-T-S. Jets, Jets, Jets. Let's go. Stop disrespecting oh, the Jets, guys. Is. Tired of it. Brandon, you've got the right word, but for the wrong reason. I also said disrespectful, but it's disrespectful because this line opened at 21 and a half. It is now 19 and a half, which means America is betting on the Jets. What? America's moved the yes. line in the Jets' favor? What utter disrespect to the defending champion Kansas City Chiefs and Wilds. What disrespect to my tears, where we have the one team at the very top True. playing the one team at the very bottom. This should be a 27 and a half point line, Wilds. It's disrespectful to the <laughs> 27 Chiefs. 27 and a half. All right, so I got, I've yeah, got two things. You find a one. Way. Brandon, can you lose us with the idea that you respect the Jets? Because before we got these, like, fancy uh, foam things here, you had a bunch of framed jerseys. Meanwhile, you got your own Jets jersey sitting on the ground next to your slippers that you pull up every time. So don't tell me you respect what? the Jets. Or you treat your, like, your jersey I do, like I got all kinds of jerseys. Jets, Jets, okay. Jets, 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 Jets. 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 Look, you got everyone else, every one of your other jerseys is framed on the wall. I think it's a big uh, game for uh, Trevor Lawrence. Trevor Lawrence got at Boston College today. Like, let me tune into the Jets Chiefs, see how my future could turn out. Could I could I go with a team that's really well built and be Patrick Mahomes, win MVP, win a championship, or I'm not that different from Sam Darnold. Hate to break it to everybody and just get annihilated. So I think the Jets need to have a solid performance because Trevor Lawrence will be watching. Mm. Evan, you're so generous. Well, you're always thinking about story. everybody. That's Take a hey. turn. Talk some hoops. They're going to get annihilated. Hey, are the Lakers about to Rondo. lose one of their key cogs to the Clippers? We'll discuss next. First things first. Uh-oh.